Hello, my friends. This is your hobby stamper lady, Rachel Merkin, helping the creative you shine through. Welcome to Add a Dash of Glitter Week. Super excited about what we're going to do today. Let's get to the Facebook real quick. Here on Facebook, we can be more personal. Sometimes I play games, different fun things that we can be just more interactive. And then this is my demonstrator web page. I just found out super exciting news here. I'm going to be able to post my um, pictures of cards. So it's actually going to be on my web page, things that I have made as well. So I'll be working on that this week. Hello, my friends. Of course, you can order anytime. Right now, you don't want to miss the Last Chance products. Um, the new catalog, super, super exciting, is coming out. I can show you a picture only of the front. But it is coming out, going live May 4th. Very exciting stuff ha happening there. Um, if you caught on my Facebook, so this is one of the advantages. Thank you to those who subscribe on YouTube. But if you go onto Facebook, sometimes I'll post little funny things. And so yesterday, as a demonstrator, um, we can pre-order. So I got a pre-order box that came in yesterday. And I wait forever because we live out in the country. So I'm like literally the last stop that they make. So I wait all day. And so yesterday on Facebook, I posted, like, if you ever watched um, The Rescuers, Madame Medusa's Pawn Shop Boutique, I was like, Rachel Markins, Stepping Up Boutique. It's mine, all mine. The whole box is mine. Total goofy. But super excited, super fun. So watch for that as we progress through. I'm not going to do an... Um, like an open box um, because there's tons of them and it's all the same. What I'm going to do is like next week, it's going to be all new products. You're going to want to watch for my new product spotlights. That's what I'm going to be doing um, as we head into getting the new catalog going live. This week, I wanted to highlight a suite and the idea behind a suite, this is the mini catalog and it is good until June. So I don't want you to miss out on the super fun festive ice cream corner suite and a suite is something that Stampin' Up! came up with I think last year might have been the first year where they include the stamp set there's a matching punch ribbon um, little doodads um, embellishments and DSP all for one price so they're giving you a discount and everything coordinates so I think I talked to you last week about um, one of the beauties of Stampin' Up! is their color coordination and how so many of their products go together, which is really beautiful when you are going to do projects and you, you know, want a starting place. A suite is a great starting place for you because it has kind of everything included. And then, of course, I create a magic box for you, which is what I have here, which means that everything that we're going to work on today fits in this little magic box. And it keeps your focus on your project. Like, how am I doing the project? I don't want to get carried away. Perfect example in my It's Mine All Mine box, like a goofball yesterday. Um, when I pulled everything out, because, you know, I'm just pulling it all out of the box, it can be a little bit overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was kind of like, oh, my gosh, I don't even know where to let my eyes land, let alone, like, what I want to start creating. Magic box empty. Still not going to try to sing. Not so great with the allergy world. But, praise God, up and about and feeling somewhat better. My asthma, once I have an attack, which has been quite a while since I've had that sort of asthma attack, I have a hard time kind of getting kicked back into it. I did go to the chiropractor this week. He was kind of like, mm, your back is super angry. <laughs> yes, my back is super angry. Um, this week with our colors, we're going to do Blackberry Bliss, Bermuda Bay, and Terracotta Tile. Now, if you ever have a question about... Um, you know, what should I do? How should I choose? They also give you colors that they used here. Now, you don't have to follow along with those colors. Um, they coordinate with the DSP if it comes with it, but it's a nice kind of jumping point, like a starting off point for you. So those are the colors that we are going to use this week. We're also going to add in to the suite. Super fun. Kind of, this paper kind of gets missed. This is rainbow glimmer paper. Is that not fabulous? And here's the beauty. The glitter does not rub off um, on your hands or on your project. So that's beautiful. You get two sheets of those. They come together. The ice cream, sweet ice cream stamps, adorbs. Uh, 
and this adorable DSP. So we are going to do a super fun um, two-way flap fun fold, I called it, because there are two ways that you can actually do this fold. So I just want to show you the paper real quick, the DSP. Look at this, so fun. The colors are so vibrant. As we just like get into that happy, it feels springy. Hello to those ice cream cones. Are they not the cutest with those bright colors? Love it. Then a different type of ice cream cone with the cone piece. We're gonna use um, Super Fun Punch today. So that is going to go over very well with the punch. And then look at these dots, love it. Um, with that, ooh, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Uh, my Blackberry Bliss, which, you know, favorite. And then there's that. And then look, you've got popsicles even. I found these really good. I can't have dairy, so it's hilarious that I love, but I love ice cream. It's so fun, um, but I can't have dairy. There's a couple really good um, new things that they have come out with, but I just found these outshine bars. Remind me of the popsicles. Like they were just like pure fruit. So um have some pineapple ones. They're pretty delightful. Pineapple. Give them a psych love to my pineapple. Okay. So that is the DSP. Um, you're going to want to grab that DSP before it is gone, people. It is so cute. Do not want you to miss out on the cuteness of that DSP. Okay, let's talk real quickly about the um, measurements. They're very, very simple. I kept the measurements simple um, because the card is just going to have such a wow factor effect for us. And that's what we're going for, right? We're always going for that wow factor effect. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take a piece of cardstock. I'll pretend like this is attached. <laughs> 11 by four and a fourth scored at five and a half cut on the front at two and three fourths. So you have this flap, thus the two way flap fun fold. So you've created this flap that we are going to use. Then you need another flap. So you take a, a front piece of, uh, you take a piece of paper at um, five and a half by four and a fourth, and you cut it in half at two and three fourths, and you get two extra flaps because we're going to make two cards today. So there you go with your flaps. Super, super simple with how you make your flaps. Very, very easy. Then you're going to have an inside DSP piece at five and a fourth by four inches, which is your Levitt Chop It. So if you ever catch um, my Levitt Chop It video, I, you can go back to that video. It's a So Now What video. Levitt Chop It. I explain Levitt Chop It. It's not mine. Not my idea. Kylie Bertucci and her husband Bruno. Brilliant that they are. It is their idea. But Levitt Chop It is brilliant and I highly suggest it. So while we um, went over that piece, let's put that piece inside our card because it's super, super simple. This card Hard. There are, um, it is, it is simple, but it has really got like this astounding effect. And of course, with that adjusted glitter, it means we get to add some really cool effects today. So I want to show you some stuff that you might not have ever seen. Um, it's another product that can actually really get overlooked in the catalog, I think. And it also can just be a, um, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to work with that. I don't know what that means. So that is as that could be as well. Now you are going to have two pieces of DSP at four inches by two and five eighths for each card. So that is actually very important. And we're going to attach those as well onto our flaps. So the DSP part is super simple. We're not stamping on the DSP and thus you can put it down because you're stamping elsewhere and you're doing your stuff elsewhere. So this just helps you to kind of start putting your card together, which I love. And you know, I do that assembly line idea, um, which I find to be uber fun. And so when you're doing assembly line, it makes it super easy when you are putting your card together because you're like, oh, okay, well now I'm doing the flaps and now I'm doing this part. So super, super simple. So as you see, all I'm doing is attaching DSP to pretty much every 
um, open flat space. And because you cut your card in half, you cut your cardstock in half, you get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock, which is my favorite. Always wanting to stretch that budget for you. So this is what you have so far, okay? This is the goal that you are going for. And we're gonna add that piece, okay? And then those are going to get put to the side um, while we do some stamping. So that part is done. Easy peasy, right? Super easy peasy, but very, very cute. So why I called it a two-way flat foam fold is one of them's going to open this way and one of them's going to open this way. We will determine that here briefly. Doesn't matter. There's obviously no right or wrong. Um, well, we put that aside. We're going to do a little bit of punching because added dashi glitter means you get to add a punch. And this sweet has a matching punch. Look at this ice cream. Can there you go? So it's like the ice cream topper and the comb. Okay, super, super simple. So here's where that glimmer paper comes in handy. I cut one of the 12 by 12s into one and a half inch strips. Um, are you kidding me with that glimmer paper? Isn't that beautiful? And then you're going to punch. Now you're only going to watch me punch um, these two little ones here because I already did all the punching. But anyway, I always punch upside down so I can see it. You're going to punch out and then flip over so you've got a little handle. It makes it way easier to punch. Okay, and then you've got, hello, glimmery ice cream. Who wouldn't want to eat that? Delicious. Okay, so you're going to do that punch out. And then the other punch out, I already had some over here, but I will show you really quickly with the DSP. Um, we need the one course as I hunt we need the one that looks like an actual ice cream comb <laughs> seriously like nope not giving it up the goods all right we'll just get a big piece that's fine um and I'm going to show you that's super super simple how to punch that out as well now I would cut it into a strip as well I think a strip when you're approaching a punch is much easier in my opinion, to use than like a full on sheet. So you only need a small little strip of that paper and we'll put the rest away. And so what you're gonna do with this, which is kind of a cool concept with the way they did this punch when you look upside down, it's at a straight line. So if I approach the uh, punch like that, I don't waste a lot of that paper and it doesn't go into the ice cream. That's pretty brilliant. And look how nice that punches out the cone. And then you can get a, you can get a couple cones out of this. You go to the other side and punch. And then I would cut and do some more. Like I would get another cone out of there. I never try to waste what you know. I never try to waste. So there is your punch. Now, of course, doing the assembly line, I would punch um all of that ahead of time like i would do like all of my punching and get like get that all like ready to go no big deal now we're gonna do before we start our stamping we're gonna do this really cool effect i don't know if you've ever seen it before i've seen it a long time ago my mom used to really like this stuff and i kind of forget and i think that's how it goes with how you're doing stuff you find stuff you like and then you move on you find other things so you get these um ice cream corner sprinkles they're called they are adorbs but it would be real easy to be like um i have no idea what to do with those now i have seen people make shaker cards that's a super fun idea um shaker cards that's brilliant but um, I was watching Kyla Bertucci um, and a couple other people and they pulled out the crystal effects. It's called shimmery crystal effects comes in this little tube and um, you put it on. We're going to put it on to our paper and we're going to put it on here because we're going to do something entirely different. So this two way is a two way fold in two ways that you can use this punch. Super excited to show you. So you're going to put out a whole like a like a big. It feels like a big dollop because you want it to be kind of thick. 
sorry, it's got my head down there so I can get it on there. You want it to feel thick as you're putting it on your paper. Um, and it won't, it won't keep those like, like nasty little lines or whatever. It'll dry nice and clear. And so when you put that on, you can, oh, you can kind of see the shine there. When you put that on, are you ready? This is super funny. So you take these little guys and you randomly, and then you just kind of push them around. So they kind of lay down in the ice cream and then these little guys that are on the side you can pick them up and put them on there and you can fill the cone you can fill the dip like all the way full or you can do part way now i'm going to show you um dry so the reason i said you do this like when i when i did this ahead of time you do it ahead of time you really want this to dry but here's the beauty. First of all, look how cute it looks. Because now you have ice creams with sprinkles. What? That is adorbs. I can't even stand it. And then when it dries, those sprinkles are going nowhere. They are staying permanently in your little crystal effects. So I'm going to do some more here. Oh my gosh, can you hardly stand it? Okay, so there is that guy. And I'm just going to put him to the side to dry boom done okay he's gonna dry so we'll put him over here okay now i'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's dry it, do, it no longer moves and it's got like this cool i don't know what you call it like a pop-up yeah like a pop-up shimmery kind of thing on it for a cone and it doesn't come off i love that that's super super cool all right so that's going to be an ice cream cone brilliant now we're going to take this and we're going to turn it this way are you ready i don't even know where i saw this this is probably a um probably a pinterest um p there are people who do what is called um punch art is actually what they call it um where they take our punches that stampin up makes or other punches i'm sure um, that are out there and they figure out like shapes and things that they think it looks like and they're like oh look what I made with the punch it's brilliant I don't do, come up with it but I thought this was brilliant because um it's a teddy bear and I love teddy bears and um are you kidding look at your teddy bear face what so we've made a teddy bear face we're gonna let that dry so when it dries it's gonna look like our little teddy bear face that we want to use then i took the cone and i turned it onto the other side are you ready we're going to do the exact same thing with the crystal effects but we're going to do it on the hat and we're going to create a little party hat for our teddy bear is that not a fun idea so this is the way that you can once again stretch the products that you have by finding new uses for them so you just look at them in a different way now and i will tell you i found all this on um, pinterest and some youtube it's not not like uh, not like i came up with that myself and then i just make it my own idea i just kind of now i did make the party hat my idea i didn't see anybody do the crystal effects with the party hat which i thought was super fun i thought the bear needed a party hat um who doesn't need a party hat with cute little pieces on it okay and so the same thing applies you just kind of move it around and you just want it all to kind of lay mostly flat in there you see how that is and then you're we're gonna like put that to the side to dry as well and voila the magic i've already done one and you have a party hat um and and yes those pieces are everywhere <laughs> those pieces are everywhere there's no getting around it so those are some things that you want to do ahead of time because you want you really want it to dry so that's i mean that's actually very important for it to dry so then we're going to have a couple other um bits and pieces you know what i want I'm going to take um, my punch. I want blue in there, too. I just want another piece of um, for my ice cream cone. I just want another piece for my cone. 
I think that'd be fun to do a party hat too. So I'm going to do that and then do a party hat for our bear later. Okay, so now let's put this aside for just a moment so that we can do some stamping. So these black dots are also in the mini catalog. They are um, like a matte black dot. Um, super, super fun. You're going to want to look that up. Those are really fun to use as well. All right. So with our stamping, we're going to step it up a little bit. This is out of Dasha Glitter Week. So we're going to do a couple other fun um, little techniques. Let's open our stamp pads. So again, Rich Razzleberry and Bermuda Bay and Terracotta Tile. And Terracotta Tile is going away, my friends. So the new end colors are beautiful. I always get excited to see new end colors. I always think that's like really, really fun. But I will tell you this year, I um, was a little more attached than I have been in years past with end colors. So I thought that was really fun. Um, what I've got here is a scrap piece of paper. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just holding it down like a mat. I only want to hit this part here. And then taking our um, new brushes. Oh, I love these brushes. They are so brilliant. And I am just going across this one section. Look what you get. So you get a line. I That's what I want. That's what I'm going for. So I'm going to do that to all the papers. And you notice that I did some in Bermuda Bay and some in orange. But the two cards that I have ready to go are pretty much the purples and oranges. Um, I'll show you. I mean, obviously, I'll show you the other cards I did. But So I did some with the blues and greens. But for this one, this is what we're going to do. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. And it is not a requirement. Now, look, I made a mess up. I will fix that. We happy accidents. They happen. I just stuck my finger down in the ink where it didn't belong. So see, I make happy accidents too. It does happen, people. It happens to the best of us. So um, this, and this isn't a requirement either. This just steps it up. It's just a fun little look that just adds. So I just love this little extra texture piece that we're doing. Um, and every chance I can get to use these cool brushes. They're so fun. They really are a neat, neat piece. They are also in the mini catalog. I'm just trying to do a lot of features of the mini catalog, so you don't want to miss out on that. As the new catalog gets ready to go live in May, the mini catalog is still there for you to enjoy. So I want you to be able to enjoy that. This will wash out with water, by the way. So super, super simple. No big deal. All right. Now we're going to do some stamping, my friends, and this is photopolymer, so the black piece is underneath on your stamparatus, which should be your best friend, right? Exactly. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to stamp sprinkles. <laughs> Who doesn't want sprinkles? And we're going to go back in with that terracotta tile. This is random stamping. So it is wherever your heart desires. Um, a little like bit of a preview, some form of what I am using today. Obviously in the paper pumpkin, it will be its own thing, but it is supposed to kind of coordinate with this fun set that I'm showing you today. So you're going to want to get a hold of this ice cream corner suite before it's gone. And that will all go out in June. Um, that catalog is all done. So you're going to want to get a hold of that. So the sprinkles, this is again, this is the assembly line stamping. You see me just going about and doing the sprinkles on each piece. There is no, there's no right or wrong. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just whatever catches your eye, whatever you enjoy. Okay, we're done with that. Now that we're going to come back with the sprinkles. Wow, we've got it on there. And we're going to come back with the rich razzleberry. Okay, and I felt like the rich razzleberry shadowed the sprinkles really, really well. I don't know why. I just liked how that kind of just like made the sprinkles pop out a little bit. See the difference? So there's the difference. 
and then we're gonna do that with all of our pieces and already we're fixing some of that smudgy but have no fear we will fix that smudgy uh you won't even know it's there and you'll be like hey which card did she do smudgy on and that's how you fix a happy accident right that's the way to go so hopefully um everybody got to have some nice celebration this last weekend it was wonderful we had um uh, both of my kids, my son's girlfriend, Sean's parents, my dad were here. And then a couple days later, my sister and Julian were able to come up from Cincinnati. So I literally got to see everybody, which was lovely. So that was really, really nice. Um, and we kept it simple. You know, sometimes we don't necessarily have food traditions, I guess, for um holidays i mean i guess some things we do but like easter not necessarily and um we have done ham but we're not necessarily people aren't necessarily ham fans it just seems like that's what we've done um so the nice thing was we got some rotisserie chickens i don't know if you guys have ever had the rotisserie chickens from um costco they're pretty brilliant to be honest and um we got rotisserie chickens they went over like gangbusters and then you have leftover chicken, which, you know, who's not sad about that? Or you can make some shredded chicken or something. So that's pretty brilliant. So now I'm doing the dots in Bermuda Bay just for fun. I mean, you're just adding. All we're doing right here is we're adding um, background. That's what you're doing. You're just creating a nice focal point for some of the things that you're going to be using on these papers so makes it really fun it's a fun this whole kit uh to me this whole suite is just a fun fun suite okay so now we have done our sprinkles let's go ahead and do our words um let's see We'll do one. I think this screams happy birthday. Then this is a super, super fun, like happy birthday card. And so I think we'll do um, one of the cards that say happy birthday. And the happy birthday is cool because it goes across that line that you created, which adds to that fun effect. Like, look how cool that happy birthday is. You know what? We'll make both of these happy birthday. I need some happy birthday cards. So um not that one i can't fit my i can't fix my happy accident if i use that inside <laughs> so we'll do the happy birthday on the line like that super cool and then we have another word to do and we're putting our cards together you guys these cards are simple but we've added it up we've added a dash of glitter with some really fun effects let's do you're so cool happy birthday isn't that fun that's a fun little saying so we'll do you're so cool that is going to go on the front in the rich uh in the blackberry bliss did i say rich raspberry i'm sorry they're both a favorite you're so cool okay and we'll do this one as well you're so cool Ta-da! Guess what? We're ready to put our card together. We are all done with our stamping. So we will put all of that to the side. And actually, I'm going to clean these up and kind of get them out of the way so that we can assemble our super fun cards. So, how <laughs> you guys you are going to laugh at me. Um, yeah. So you're going to have to see the other sideways guy. I stamped them all in the same direction. What a dork. You will see the super fun two way. It goes both ways. Hello. Step it up here, Rachel. Um, so we're going to do the happy birthday inside like that doesn't that look nice and once we lay that down we're going to come with our tear and tape because we're going to add some ribbon so we're going to go across the bottom with tear and tape and the reason i want to do that now is because you know i like that tear and tape to sit just like it to sit for a minute okay and the you're so cool um is going to go on top of that we're going to build our ice cream cone so what you have 
you start with the comb. All right, so we're going to start. Got a little bit of a weird. Let's just set it in the thing wrong. We're going to start with the comb. That's how I start building the ice cream comb is the cone. You could do it either way. It doesn't matter. Let's do this and so you can fix your happy accident. Okay, so we've got our You're So Cool with our ice cream comb. And then you're going to start with building your layers. So I want a blue, and this kind of this pink color and yellow. You don't have to have four. I'll show you one of them I made. I did it with three. So um, there's no like right or wrong. It's just like whatever, whatever you love. Okay, so then you're gonna start putting your ice cream on. Now, I hold it down. The glimmer paper, you just wanna make sure it gets a nice tight bond because you're putting glue on, um, except for the top layer, we're gonna do some dimensionals. Okay, so we're going back and forth. I thought that was fun, like tippy ice cream. <laughs> like it kind of is like um, the ice cream might fall over at any minute, which is hilarious. Okay, then we've got that piece and then we're going to do dimensionals with our last piece. And then that card, guess what, is already put together. So this is just momentarily. I mean, it only takes just like a baby second. And then look, I'm at the end of these dimensionals, but you know, I use my dimensionals until I can't, uh, until they're all gone. Like I use every scrap of dimensionals. All right, so we've got the, dimensionals going on for our last piece of the ice cream scoop, right? And we're gonna come across here and it can come off the white a little bit because it's getting mounted on the other piece. Do you see that? Look how cool that looks, you guys. So now all I do is I lay it down and then I decide, like I put my finger where the glue needs to go um because you're doing a flap so you want to make sure that you put it down so the flap comes off and then you want to even on top that's what you're looking for even steven on the top of it hello to that gorgeous you're going to take this off and you're going to put a cool piece of ribbon on there you don't have to do the ribbon either. I just kind of liked it. And this kind of felt like the ribbon sat really, really nicely on there. And if you get little strays, it happens. Just make sure you kind of go in and clip and then it'll come off. And so then there is your ice cream. Can you stand up? That's so cute. Then, We've got that teddy bear. Of course, I went up and down. So this teddy bear is gonna look a little bit different than the other teddy bear. It's fine. Um, I'll show you the other way that the flap goes. Sorry about that. I got all excited with my stamping, which can happen when you're doing assembly line. So same thing, we're gonna put this inside here all nicely. And then for the You're So Cool, we're going to set that down because you can assemble it either way. I'm going to assemble it with it put on this time. So we'll put that piece together. Lay it back down. All nice. And then here's what I found with the teddy bear. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, can you guys stand it? I want the teddy bear's face to be down and then the hat goes on a dimensional. So the hat kind of looks like it's coming up off of the bear. What? <laughs> He's the cutest. The idea behind it is phenomenal. I'm like, yes, whoever came up with, um, I see a teddy bear in the ice cream scoop. Thank you <laughs> for those of you who have that imagination because I did not see it, but I do love it. I think it's adorable. All right, so we'll do that and we're done, you guys. And then I'm gonna show you my other so you can see the two ways. You can see that it can go both ways because <laughs> I got out of control. 
um yes to the teddy bear so i am loving that and then the other thing that you can do that i thought was really fun is just right here at the top one of the big black pieces kind of looks like you finished off his hat kind of feels like you finished off his hat okay are you ready you guys this is so fun all right let's do we've got our bear and our ice cream Look at this ice cream, super cute. Trying to get it, um, cause we were trying to do pictures. So um, then I get to give you the cheesy, the cheesy smile. <laughs> okay, so I can't even fit all of those in there. Let's do this. Let's do this bear. There you go. See how it goes sideways, and it says treat yourself or you melt my heart. Isn't that fun? And I'm not gonna be able to fit all these in here, you guys. So this is what we're getting today. We'll do a couple of each right so fun and then there's our picture yay are you so excited i love how this turned out you guys doesn't this feel like a treat like you've treated yourself all right let's go to the front screen Thank you for spending time with me and add a dash of glitter. What a fun sweet, that ice cream sweet. I'm telling you. And when you can do two things with it, when you can create a teddy bear or an ice cream cone, and you might be able to come up with more. If you go on Facebook or, um, sorry, if you go on Pinterest and you look up punch art, there's like all kinds of cool, cool things. So don't forget to go um, to my website right now last year's products things that are going away in the old catalog before the new catalog comes out go and check the mini catalog out because the sweets and stuff that are there everything gets changed around some things say some things don't stay you're gonna want to jump on this ice cream suite i'm telling you jump on the ice cream suite you're gonna love it so what i'm gonna tell you to do until i see you next week Go and make the world a better place, my friends. Be you in the best way that you can to make the world a better place. Until I see you, I bid you adieu.